Hello Path of Exile fans, this is Buff of Exile, this is my dirty mirror, this is my terrible painting and today I'm, I'm coming to you with a new strategy for the strong boxes and Harbinger and everything all using also the league mechanic, so we will get right into it, let's stay with me, this strategy is really scalable, it's really tough, but it can be, I mean and I'm using it on 8 mods T16 map and yeah, let's start, let's start with the, of course, with the Atlas so what we have here, here we are using like this all the nodes we can get for the strong boxes so here, here chance for the for the strong boxes to being openable again this is this is important and also the corrupted and at least rare this is this is a, this means that we won't need to use the alhorps everything here for the duplication then we are using also the scarabs most of the nodes we ha which we have just for this strategy to feel good at the other parts of the map because we will use the hard maps as well so this is important we are also blocking here additional content using the scarabs we don't want because new atlas you have the scarabs found in your map cannot be for example abyss scarabs etc etc so i'm blocking many parts of the content we are using every node for the harbinger just for for the maps to have more harbies and more currency this strategy is really good for printing raw currency what else we are using the eater of worlds i purposely didn't take this one because this this is the for me for now this is the end of the game right <laughs> this is too much but if you are your build is really good you can also use this one so this will multiple the scarabs you will get on the map because this will boost your quantity very very well we are also using the 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 small circle for quantity and rarity and large circle large circle for for additional quantity and on top of this we are using also the the devote person so so we are using the effects of the devote modifiers here and also boosting the the haunted modifier so overall this feels really hard plus you know that there will be a lot of strong boxes and why not only we are using those strong boxes here additional strong boxes chance to open up again etc etc but also we are using the scarabs so we have 10 additional strong, strong boxes for scarabs, 5 from the ambush modifier, so this is 15. So we've got with the Atlas 16 additional strong boxes. We also using the chance for them to be openable again. I actually don't know the exact math whether or not this is uh, we are adding those those probabilities or we are counting first one and then the second one which is important when you when you think about what's the the real chance i i didn't test it for to the point one of the um of the of the chance so didn't try this but i think they are stackable and uh, last scar up uh, in either worry this is this is really important and this, this is really fe this feels good you will get a lot of the the additional opening of strong boxes and last one there are strong boxes are more likely to be a rarer, rarer variants so instead of normal strong boxes you will get a, a more divines more arcanist more cartography and more of those unique ones yeah so this is about 16 12 probably 8 and nothing so 27 Seven chaos per map, so I've run also uh, about twenty maps, so it's five hundred chaos. I've sustained the maps, so I was or I was using the maps which I've already run, and 
the results. The results after 20, 20 maps are here. So basically look at the maps. This is the best strategy for map sustain so far because you know you will get a lot of the cartography strong boxes you will open them again and again and again and you will you will sustain the maps as you can see i don't know how many of those are here it's about i would say 100 maps so counting like four chaos it's 400 chaos plus those two 600 chaos just in maps so in maps we get back our value we actually didn't drop any good drop from the uh, from the diviner one so no hard cards sorry but this is how it is sometimes although i'm still waiting for the, those drops to come <laughs> and uh, no great 21 20 games from game cutter strong boxes so overall i was really unlucky so this is an unlucky version but still unlucky version gave 300 chaos back a lot of raw currency you can see it here plus here a lot of those eldritch uh, eldritch, eldritch and grander eldritch currency and a lot of uh, other currency i've also changed all the cards for which were giving currency for the for currency in scarabs in total here in scarabs and in all other gear i have according to according to tft bulk tool 15 divines and here 12 divines so it's 27 divines from 12 uh, to 20 maps 20 from 20 <laughs> yeah i'm sometimes uh, mistaken when i'm using the usa and english english version of this uh, okay so in other in other items i think i have also three uh, additional divines so it's about 30 divines per 20 maps which took took me took me about two and a half hour so for me it was 12 divines per hour so it's all, all feel good strategy and um, still without any any cool drops plus i've got a full locker of this one with the rare ones i'm not counting this but you can see them as well i've got rogue exile i've got rats and i was using them while i was running the maps of course i was re reusing what i have got plus i didn't count this this stash as well so yeah this is how this is how the profit looks it's stable it's it's really fun it but it's hard it's hard you have you need to have a good reflex when you are trying to to dodge the strong boxes uh and if you don't you probably can die as well so this is how this strategy looks like after 20 maps so buff of exile out oh and i will of course link this in the pinned comment in about a couple of hours the, the atlas you can of course take it from the screenshot yep you can pause pause and use this atlas or you can just wait for me to create a, a link so see you have a great day